Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. So it's the last two weeks of the year and for those who are familiar with our channel, you know that we will probably be very busy with harvesting our shrimps and harvesting our crabs because of the high prices. So today I just, I'm just going to talk about a little about one of our grow up performance of our indoor shrimp farm just to share with you a little bit about growth and our performance data. So stay tuned. Hi guys, thanks for sticking around. So the first step would actually involve removing the net that's covering the tanks. So for those of you who are familiar with this, you probably know that shrimp tends to jump a lot, especially at the end of the culture cycle. So it's imperative that you have a tank that is covered by netting to ensure that the shrimp do not escape. So the tank that we are harvesting right now is actually stocked at 450 shrimps per cubic meter. Note that the shrimps were coming from a nurseries stock at 3000 PLs per cubic meter for two weeks before they were transferred to this grow up tanks. So as you can see that the shrimp pigmentation for this batch is actually much better than our previous batches. So some of the comments from our previous batches includes um, the shrimp not being red enough after cooking. So after improving our feed formulation on our end for this batch, actually we have greatly improved some of the correlation or the pigmentation of the shrimp. So hopefully this will increase the market value uh, for the shrimp that are harvested today. So you can see that the shrimp that are being harvested from our tanks are relatively healthy and very lively. And also take note there are no dead shrimp among the live ones even at this end of the culture cycle. We are actually at day 82 of the grow-out cycle. This is two weeks after nursery plus another 82 days to get to this size. So as you can see, they are still very lively and at this point, we will just be weighing them and calculating the terms of calculating the total amount of yield that were coming from these tanks. So right now we are just removing some of the pipings uh, connected to the filtration system so that we can harvest the tanks more easily. And we will be pumping out some of the water. Uh, so it's important that you start to ensure that they are not so highly stocked when you reduce the water level. So looking at our current performance, our survival rate is at 75%. And our yield per cubic meter of water is 6.5 to 7.5 kilos. And it really depends on how much water level that you have in each individual tank because that tends to vary due to evaporation or loss of water. So we hope you enjoy this video and this gives you a better idea on the yield and the performance of our indoor stream farming systems. So stay tuned and we hope to see you again at Rasa Aquaculture. <laughs> 